I grew up, I've got a very uh, sort of hybrid background. I'm an American, but I grew up in Puerto Rico. So I was born in, in Germany and we moved to Puerto Rico in the end of the 50s. And so I grew up in a tropical environment. So coming to India was like coming home for me, although very different culturally. But also I was very influenced by Gabriel, Gabriel Garcia Marquez and magical realism. So finding India and working this way, which is an evolution of work that I've been working before, I mean, I did this work called Fables, where I use the same methodology, except this time all the animals are live, and the colors and the uh, environment. So it is sort of between document and magical realism. But they're all real. I mean, the, the, the animals are photographed wild, and then the interiors are photographed separately with high, large resolution, initially analog, now uh, digital cameras. And then the animals are put into seed afterwards and become characters, which refer to Indian mythology. So a product of a lot of research, and that's what I inherited from conceptual art, was this sense of photography as a journey and also research project, learning about what you're doing, and not a, a, a slow photography too. This has taken five years to make. You know, this work, they're, they're very slow to put together. It might, might take a month or two months to make a uh, Indian gallery called Tazvir. He saw my previous work done in France called Fables and he said, why don't you come to India? And I thought, why not? And I never did the hippie trail, but I went and I just plunged in. I just did a recce, I visited 20 different places, decided I would start with Rajasthan. I didn't want to do colonialist British architecture. I wanted to do pre-British uh, empire. So. My architectural spaces are pre-1850. It's playful, again. I take artistic license, so the titles are very much referencing sometimes the Ramayana, sometimes the Maharabhata, which are the, you know, the origin stories of India, but also the Ragamalas, a type of um, miniature uh, that I'm turning around and playing with. And in a way, with digital technology, this, this attention to detail, this control, that you can have printing in the digital space, raw files, is wonderful. And I wanted them to have this jewel-like look, which is like these Indian miniatures. I want an intense visual effect, and I want people to be curious. Why is this caption? What is this caption about? I want to use the beauty of the image to seduce people, to make them think and be curious about what I'm representing, and perhaps to engage with um, Indian culture in a different way, outside of the stereotypes of poverty and religious fundamentalism. And I'm more and more interested in sort of documenting and photographing mosques and Muslim culture in India, because it's a minority culture, but finding another way of representing it, which isn't you know, the National Geographic way or the traditional documentary approach.